Okay, cards on the table on this one. Yeah, I know you clicked on this one and you're like saying, really? You know, there is an anime this season in winter 2024. Yeah, a lot of people are talking about it in YouTube and I got to throw my two cents on in on this one. And I'm confused on the name, but, you know, some people are calling it one thing or another, but most people are calling it Gushing Over Magical Girls. If, If you haven't seen this as of yet, Okay, let's hold off before you jump jump to find this. Uh, in fact, it's on high dive. It's not on Crunchyroll. I don't think Crunchyroll would have grabbed this one. Now, first thing, like I said, cards on the table. The concept is good, okay? I, I have to admit that it is a very good concept. For the reason is, one thing about me, you know, when it comes to stories, it doesn't matter whether it's anime, comic books, movies, stuff like that, I love the story of the villain because the villain is always, if, if it's a good villain, it's always a very detailed character, you know, not, not, not the anti-hero or anything like that. I mean, the true villain, uh, you know, one of my favorites is dark side, you know, DC's dark side. I love the character, you know, itself, the way, you know, you know, he puts himself out there that, you know, he's, he, his strength, you know, that basically no one can defy him. To, the, to that point that people bow to him and that, uh, you know, there are those who will try to go against him and he feels that, hey, there's nothing you can do against me. You know, this is, this is the guy that just pu- puts it out there, you know, cards on the table, obviously. Not afraid, not afraid to speak what he wants to do. Now, in the case of the, uh, this Magical Girl series, you know, this is nothing like, Card captors or Sailor Moon or any of the other ones on there. Uh, this is a little different. Like I said, th- this is basically a villain story. Now, I'm going to read a little bit of the ma- the main premise of it. Uh, it is uh, Utini Hiragi is a normal, magical, loving middle school girl, or at least she was, but then. Some talking mascot showed up out of the blue and cast a spell on her. Now her chance to join her beloved magical girls as a villain. The shy magical girl transforms into a sadistic dominatrix. That's right, folks. Yeah, it's literally S&M in certain ways. Yes, there's nudity on this. And these are teen girls. And you're going to say, oh, God. No, no, no. Understand. This is, you know, how can I put this? It's almost sort of like a cutie honey high school D and D DXD situation. Is it like redo the healer? No. Understand so far. I've gone about three episodes. Time of this recording. I've already done the third episode. No, there is nudity. Uh, There's spanking, tickling. Uh, grabbing, um, you know, certain other things that's in there that, you know, that's implied, uh, sort of a self-gratification. You might as well move on, Doc. I don't move from here all through the picture. Uh, there's a scene of that, but, you know, not shown. It's under the covers. You know, not seen out, but done in a comedic way. And a lot of it's in a, you know, this whole thing is in a comedic way that this young girl who, who love, you know, it's on her shelves and posters and she's, she's a fangirl of these magical girls, you know, it's like, you know, she's a fan of Sailor Moon and t- that stuff like that. But now she has become the villain. And now she has to fight these girls that she's admired throughout and basically they you know you know she has to do it in a ways that has sort of gotten her how can i put that her fan love has become more of a fat you know fantasy love in a way not 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 it that way but it's sort of like in a uh, like I said, in a S&M way. 
And as the first two episodes, you can see how it's increasing that this creature, that this sort of uh, type of, um, I don't even know how to call this creature that, that just, that, um, that turned her into this. It's uh, basically the, she, he's just, she's, she's just getting tempted all the time. Like there's one scene in, in episode two where she's walking through this area and he dropped off all these S and M magazines out there. And literally because that it excited her, it turned her into, it transformed her instantly without a tra without saying the magical words, uh, turned her into the, uh, villain creature, the, uh, the villain girl, the villain mass. Let's call it, uh, the evil magical girl. Let's put it in that perspective. And you know, her wand is like a, is a writing crop to the situation because the, you know, the first episode she did a lot of spanking and that was kind of funny because the, the, uh, the, the three magical girls, um, you know, they try to sit down you know, on there, but then when they did the transformation and they got to the, the lower half where the underpants came on into the situation, uh, when the underpants snapped, they felt pain because there was still healing from the spanking that, uh, Utina had, had given the three girls. And, you know, it, you see creatures like this that, you know, sort of Sailor Moon type, uh, Power Rangers type creatures in this series. I mean, you have a candle monster, a flower monster so far. Uh, I don't want to give too much away of the third chapter. You know, some places they said this anime contains multiple scenes of non-consensual sexual contact involving underage characters. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, you're going to see that situation on there. And it's going to be cringy. You know, you know, do I recommend it? So far, it is a good story. Okay, understand. First of all, good story. Is the content that happens, the fighting and stuff like that, is it for everyone? No. No, it never is. You know, most of the stuff never is. But it's not... Let's put it this way. You could say, like I said, it's not Redo the Healer. Is it close to hentai? No, not at all. Redo the Healer is more close to the hentai than this so far. Is it closer to high school DXD? Yes. And Cutie Honey as well. We've seen stuff like this on Cutie Honey as well. Uh, Cutie Honey goes back, way back a bit. Especially the transfer, the new transformations and stuff like that. But is, is this anime an issue? No, not really. It's... Could be worse so far. Like I said, we, we'll have to go through every chapter and I might come back to this at the end after seeing the entire series. Uh, for those anime fans that looks for the cringy type of video of anime like this, yeah, I do recommend it to on there. Go ahead, go catch it. If you want to see a good story, watch the censored version. You know, there is a censored and uncensored version. I believe High Dive is showing the uncensored, but I believe if you look around, you can find the censored version out there. You know, where it's blacked out, you know, those sections are blacked out on there. Uh, but like I said, hey, listen, there's always controversy in anime and people will put, you know, they push these things on there. And no, before you say this is not a lolly, this is not nowhere near a lolly, nowhere near it. So, you know, people will say, well, it's a lolly. No, it's not. It's just a crazy, you know. One thing about Japan, they're going to create crazy anime and they go in many different directions. And this happens. And the thing about it is the manga is not as, uh, how can I put it? Uh, the manga is a little tame. I mean, it is, it is straight out the way it's supposed to be, but the, it seems like the, the anime is a little bit more over the top than the manga itself. So maybe you might want to try the manga, read the manga first. Uh, so comment in the line below. Let me know your thoughts about this. There are many different YouTubers. I mean, you might do it this way. Uh, there's some YouTubers out there that are doing uh, reaction videos to it. It is censored. They're not showing anything of the nature, but their reaction is just, you know, it's, 
it's it's priceless their reaction when they see it so you'll understand why when you see it on there don't forget to like share and also i hope today's the day i've earned your subscription until next time thank you for tuning in thank you for watching bye bye now thanks for watching commenting and sharing this video and if you haven't yet please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.